Namaste Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you guys a message. Hi my beautiful Aries, my Soul Tribe family, I love you guys, my kings and queens, my baby bosses. Hope you guys are well and safe. Alright, just wanted to make a quick announcement for those of you guys that have purchased the Crown Chakra Oasis Spray. Um, I had a little issue I, when I went to the post office, I came over there with all these packages and um, they had informed me that I had to download some website called Click and Ship because I was um, delivering multiple packages. So my, my daughter's actually helping me with that right now. She's actually go, um, set up uh, the website for me, for me to go in there and add everybody's information and get the little tags printed out. The, the mailing um, shipping tags already printed out so that way when I get there I can um, ship a lot at a time so yes I'm going to be doing that tomorrow morning I'm doing the click and ship app right now as we speak so you guys bear with me I'm gonna be sending all you guys your orders that you guys have um, you know you already ordered so for those of you waiting for that yep it's gonna happen tomorrow morning I'm setting up the app right now and then I'll be shipping them out. I love you guys. Thank you for your support and ordering the products. All right, let's get right into your messages, though. When I was channeling your message, the weirdest thing came out, like the weirdest message came out, but it, it makes a lot of sense, right? Because I saw this image of SpongeBob. Somebody likes to watch SpongeBob or SpongeBob is significant to somebody watching this video because you know how in SpongeBob, um, Plankton's always trying to steal the secret sauce, right? Whatever. And Mr. Krabs is always trying to protect the secret sauce. Well, that's what I heard. They want to steal your secret sauce, Aries. I literally heard that, okay? You guys are a jack of all trades and you're about to be world renowned. So like I said, SpongeBob, somebody's children might watch that. Maybe you watch SpongeBob. I don't know. But that's what, what that's what I heard when, um, when Plantain wants to steal the secret sauce, so somebody's trying to steal your secret sauce, all right? Whatever it is, the way you do something, your style, your creativity, your energy signature, they want to know how you do what you do, they want to know how you access uh, your gifts. I, the, it feels like you're like the talk of the town or something like that, you're like the talk of the town right now. Whatever you're doing, you're being seen in the public eye or however you had a transformation, you know... There's a lot of talk in the town, and this mess is going to resonate with somebody. Because there was a lot of gossip, lies, and betrayals that were told upon your name, all right? Because this started out with an ex, this started out with family, this started out with fake friends, okay? And since you took back your energy and you distanced yourself, and these people did the most, all right, to bring you down, to make you look bad, to make you feel unworthy of yourself, like you was never going to be nothing. These same people are now watching you having a major transformation and a major glow up. So literally, they want to know how you do what you do. You're like their favorite TV show. You're like their the favorite episode. Like It's like their, their favorite next Netflix show. Every time you're online, they watch everything you do. It's like, I'm telling you, these people are your biggest fans behind the scenes. All right, but these people were the same people that talked down on you once upon a time, right? So they're, now they're noticing that your life is taking off, that you're doing good for yourself, that you have transformed your energy in some sort of way, all right? And they want to carbon copy you. That's what I heard. They want a carbon copy of you or they want a carbon copy you, but there is no other you. There's only just one you. You have a rare blood type. All right, and then I also heard the New World Order for some reason. So something about the New World Order, the agenda, all right? Something about these chipped AIs trying to run the world or take over humanity. And then I heard there's a battle between aliens and AIs right now, like a galactic battle or something that's about to happen or happening right before our eyes, but we can't see it, all right? Because something is radioactive, radioactive frequencies trying to block our third eye chakras, all right, so you guys, it's very important for you to get out in the sun, go out in nature, hug a tree, because when you hug trees, that will literally increase your energy of your root chakra. It will balance out your energy to connect with water, going to the river or the beach, going out in nature right now, because there's like galactic wars happening. Like I heard, um, that's why I heard that there's like a major galactic war battle between aliens and AIs, okay? So you guys already know that there's aliens amongst us, all right? No matter what they try to say or cover up, you guys know that, all right? So let's get right in. 
All right, so yeah, that yesterday's video with that um, I posted yesterday for you guys is significant. All right, so somebody's shocked because you know something or you figured something out or you caught on to their agenda. Like like I said yesterday's video, it's a family affair or family reunion or something like that. They're trying to get you to go somewhere. You guys are ten steps ahead. You know, some of you guys already went to this function. All right, you could have felt uncomfortable. You could have felt like. Like everybody, all eyes were on you. You could have felt like a uh, weird energy, awkward energy. You could have even left early before the event even ended. All right. Maybe you saw this, the video too late yesterday and you already went to that event. All right. So just be mindful right now. Be mindful who you're uh, connecting with. You're very sensitive to energy. You had a major awakening to something and now everything is standing out to you. Like seriously, when you go outside, when you're around people, you're picking up on every little signature of energy, good or bad. You're picking up on every single detail of this person's energy, how they act, how they talk, how they are around you, how you feel with their energy, right? So pay attention to that as well, all right? Just, just protect your energies right now. Because I feel like you guys are in the... Then in this energy of creating something amazing, you guys are the jack of all trades. You have many skills, many talents. So you're starting to hone in on some something here that you've been wanting to manifest or create. You're about to come into this abundant season or you're about to have a major breakthrough. You're about to create something that you can be proud of. World renowned. Okay, earth angel energy. Look at that. Yeah, you gained your wings. You know, you 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 transmuted energy. You're, you're accessing a certain level of spiritual growth here. Wow, you graduated, that's what I heard. Somebody could be graduating, or there's a graduation party or something, or a baby shower you could be getting invited to, or something like that could be going on for somebody watching. All right, so dragonfly. This is this is beautiful energy of the dragonfly. This uh, basically says, have have confidence in what you're doing this uh, during this time. And be joyful because your joy is going to be renewed. And you are connecting to spirit right now. Yeah, you have a, you're going to have a new contract. You could be signing a new lease. You could be getting, um, you know, you could be signing a new contract. Some, someone here, you could be getting a loan. You're getting approved for this loan or payout. Or someone, someone here, you could be signing a contract to purchase a home, real estate or property. Or you're getting a new car. You could be doing something like that. But this is going to go well for you. Something's going to work out. An investment that you made is going to pay off. Yep, you're taking a lot of leaps of faith you're defeating all the challenges and obstacles because you're 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 like the art of war somebody here you could have read that book the art of war you're mastering your mind right now you're mastering what you give energy to and what you let worry you you're actually connecting more with the ethers you're like in this 4d energy right now this is amazing okay yeah judgment there's judgment coming down all right so this looks like a huge book right there like the book of judgment it almost looks like the Bible too. So there's a lot of things in the Bible that were uh, spoken about in the Bible that's actually taking place in the world right now. So pay attention to that. It's judgment. Wow. You're going to have an abundance of whatever you need right now. And you're coming together with the lovers. Somebody's going to send you flowers, gift you flowers. Somebody's going to surprise you with flowers. Or you could be buying flowers for yourself. The color pink is significant here. Or pink flowers. All right, Leo, you could be dealing with a Leo. You could have Leo in your chart with the lion. You're very strong and courageous. You could be taking a trip, all right? You could be going somewhere. Sunflowers are significant here. Hmm. Thank you, spirit. What's going on? Yeah, get out of your head. Get out of your two of swords and take a leap of faith. Or somebody's getting out of their two of swords. They're no longer overthinking. Somebody wants to work together with you now. Somebody wants to come towards you or they got advice. They got a reading, all right? Or this person just had a spiritual awakening, so they access their higher self and they're getting out of the two of swords because they do want to work together with you or they do want to make something right with you here. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. What's going on? What's this energy? But you're, somebody could be afraid to approach you or they're intimidated by you. Maybe because you seem very stern. You could be an alpha female or male here, but somebody feels like maybe like... like you're 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 a person that you don't play no games or you're very intuitive so somebody's afraid to come towards you because they think you're going to read their energy and maybe this person you know you 
God called judgment on this person before because this person did something to you to have you, cause you to have a major awakening, right? This person could have did something to betray you that this person got judgment on onto them and now they're seeing you as a queen of swords, right? Because you're no longer in the eight of swords. You're no longer stuck in fear. You're no longer trapped in your head. This king of cups really betrayed you and there's judgment on this king of cups right now. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, masculine energy is under judgment because you release yourself from the bindage, whatever blockage. Like I said, this person was one of the people in your community that was spreading these lies and rumors about you. This person could have said you were broke, homeless, you were promiscuous, all right? This person could have said you were doing something you wasn't, or maybe this person exaggerated so nobody else would give you a love offer because this person couldn't do right by you, so they chose a karmic that was going to, you know, pay the rent and buy everything, and they were going to live off this karmic, so they left you alone and left you out in the cold. But look, this person is dying to communicate to you. Like I said, they are afraid to come towards you because they don't know how you're going to react. And a lot of you guys ain't, ain't even, like, you don't want nothing to do with this person. You already know about everything they did, so, like, you you completely moved on. You're in your, you're in your birthright right now. You're headed in your birthright, your purpose. So they're going to try to use this King of Cups to come in and try to slow you down or delay you. It's not going to work. You already told yourself if this person... You already said if this motherfucker comes in, I'm, I'm not going to give him a damn chance. He's not going to get near me. I'm going to cut him off at the door. So like you're like this. You're ready. You're waiting. This person's scared to come towards you. They were a part of this community that gang stalked you, that lied on you, that targeted you. They were a part of it. All right? And this Queen of Wands in the reverse. You, can, you have another Aries... Leo or Sagittarius female that worked with this King of Cups in reverse. You know, this or this karmic is the one that this person chose to be with. This him and him and his karmic was watching something you were doing. Her and her karmic were watching something you were doing, male or female. They were involved in the lies and the slander, sending you the evil eye, you know, thinking their life was so good. While meanwhile you were mastering yourself, you were you were learning everything, all right, that you needed to learn, the lessons, you were heading into your successful energy. Yeah. You became Sullivan and this whole time they thought that they had a one up on you because they were posting pictures on on you know online on social media to make you jealous. You could care less. You didn't even you didn't even care less. All right, because this person downgraded when they chose this karmic over you, right? Yeah, and then there's a Queen of Pentacles that's also in this group of karmic that's jealous. This could be a family member, a friend, somebody you knew from the past. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's these two karmic females that are sending you to evil eyes. They're 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 bitter. They're scorned because you just keep on leveling up no matter what they do. All right, because you masters how to transmute energy. And this King of Cups here, too, that was teaming up with them, they're all under judgment, okay? That's all I got to say. Now you got a King of Pentacles that's ready to step up to the plate and come and give you this offer. This could be a business opportunity. This could be a love connection. There's a King of Cups that respects you for being the Queen of Swords, all right? And this person's a master at what they do, or this person has, like, their own business. They got something going on. They, they're doing good financially, they respect that you're the queen of swords, all right? And this is what I'm saying. All these people, they did the most to make you look bad, but this king of swords is determined to give you an offer. Wow. Yeah, Hierophant and the Hierophant. You became the Hierophant, spiritually wise, because you believe in God and you believe in spirituality. And you combine God and spirituality together because God is a spirit, all right? Hello, God is a spirit. All right, God is a spirit. He's the Holy Spirit. All right, so there's good spirits, there's bad spirits, but you know that you invest in the higher ups. You invest in good energy. You talk to only ancestors and spirit guides of the light. All right, yes, and and they had you, they had you all wrong, and now so they're all watching you, and now they know that you're that you're a sweetheart, and they know that you're not what this person said you were. So they're all looking stupid right now because you took back your energy and you're getting the Ten of Pentacles, a major reward, a blessing. All right, your money's increasing. God is putting you on the uh, on your throne right now on your pedestal. So it is what it is. You should be proud of yourself. Somebody wants you to feel bad about your success, or somebody wants you to feel bad because you chose to invest in yourself. Don't let that happen. All right, my loves, keep it moving, move forward. All right, you should never feel bad for choosing yourself, for loving yourself, for um, making better choices. You should never feel bad about that. All right, so if somebody's trying to make you feel bad for leveling up or doing good because they're not doing good, then they generally don't care about you. They they really don't care about themselves either because they can't go and reflect. They can't go and heal. They rather 
you know, project that onto you. Wow. But where were these people when you needed them? Where were these people when you didn't have anything? Where were these people when you didn't know where you were going to sleep at night? Where were they? All right? They were too busy teaming up and laughing at your downfall. That's what they were doing. Yeah, because they teamed up with these witches of warlock energy. Yeah, somebody's daughter. All right? Somebody's daughter could be going through something right now. Somebody could be distant from a daughter. A sister tried to manipulate a daughter to work against you. Wow, that's crazy. A sister energy. Best I ever had. New project ordeal. Wow. Somebody knows you're the best they ever had. Jack of all trades. They want your secret sauce. But you're about to get a new project deal or opportunity here. So this is a major blessing with the Ten of Pentacles that came out. Somebody could be experiencing mental health concerns or bad health because they did too much dark energy towards you. But you was God's earth angel and they didn't even know what they was doing. This energy all came back onto them. All these energies, entities. This person's having dark voices in their head. Because they can't stand to see you shine that much, okay? You're becoming wealthy here. The Six of Pentacles, whatever was yours is given to you back. You're gonna be you're gonna be receiving a large payout, or just like people are reciprocating love to you. All right, people um acknowledge you that you're inspirational, that you more help motivate them, or that you can see the best in people. It's like you're this uh you're like a empath, you're like a real empath. Karmic caught cheating. So somebody's karmic got caught cheating. This karmic gave this masculine or feminine an STD. And now this person's under judgment because they chose a karmic over you. Yeah, that's what's happening to this King of Cups in reverse. All right? Or this Aries, Leo, or Sag in reverse, right? Soulmate. Yeah. Yeah, this person thought that karmic was their soulmate because they were too busy putting you down, not valuing you, not seeing your worth, working against you. Yeah, that's too bad for this person that got stuck with a karmic here. But you're focused on your successful business right now. I heard Adams. Anderson or Sanderson. I heard Emil or Anika. I heard Anika. Tanika. Carol or, Sh or Cheryl. C Candy. Somebody's name could be Candy. I heard Kenny, Ronnie, Ronika, or Ronisha. Man, I'm hearing a lot of names, guys. I heard Andy, Tracy, Trayvon, Troy. Wow. Peeping Tom Stalker. I heard Anthony, too. Moving away. You're moving away from these people. They've been working in a team, but it doesn't matter. You're about to come together with your soulmate, your actual past life soulmate right now. But you're actually coming together with yourself. You're like actually coming together with your uh, feminine and masculine energy. You're integrating that with your higher self. And there's no stopping you. There's no slowing you down right now. You're moving all the way up right now, my loves. You're turning it all the way up. Turn down for what? That's what I heard. Turn down for what? They want to turn it down a notch for you, but turn down for what? When your ancestors are the ones and God that is the one that put you here in this in this position. Because you learned every single lesson. You defeated every single attack. You mastered yourself more than once. All right? You're inspirational to people. And that's why you're the talk of the town right now. That's why your ex is under judgment because he's stuck with a funky karmic that he chose over you. Yeah, that's what's happening. Somebody has the letter J, K, or L. I love you guys, okay? You guys are channeling spiritual messages right now. Somebody touched a child in the past and this person's under judgment by the higher-ups. This could have been someone's, someone's child that was a chosen child. This person, this could have been a special child, like a child that has that was special, that had like ADHD, or a child could have had Down syndrome and somebody was sick enough to try to touch this child. Wow, they're going down. A brother betrayed you here. Somebody's a stripper female, or they said that you was like, Somebody said that you was like a prostitute or selling yourself, but you know what? This person was jealous of you. They made that up, all right? Because whatever you do is completely legit. Divine is in control of your blessings here. They was trying to sacrifice you, but like I said before, be careful whose invitations you guys are accepting, okay? Be careful who you're traveling with. I love you guys. Every time you get into a car, every time you get into a bus, every time you get into an Uber, every time you go into any sort of vehicle, you are entering a portal and you're uh, you're like traveling through time in that portal. 
So if somebody's vehicle has bad energy, it's a dark portal. Just be careful whose vehicle you're getting into. That's another side message. I love you guys. Till the next time, if you need a personal, reach out to me. If you're interested in the Crown Chakra Spade, my email's down below. I love you guys for all your love and support on the channel for the product. May God bless you tenfold. Namaste.